Yo, did he come on saying this sounds like tube socks on Madison Ave? <clears throat> Where's Madison Ave? Is that California? Las Vegas? Oh, Manhattan. So it's probably multiple. I guess he's talking about Matt. Tube socks. They wore two tops and they wore tube socks in New York. I don't know, man. There probably there might be a Madison Ave in California too, because I think about L.A. That's where you used to see in tube socks. We was talking about Compton. That's where you see him wearing Snoop Dogg wearing tube socks. Long socks that almost touch your knees with shorts and a jacket. Lie like you plan on going back. Hey, we ain't got no time to relax. Word only priority intact. Posted on the porch soon as shit. Had to run the nigga soon as shit. I was that the guys had shield. Stop lights, clean the windshield. Fans do it free for a feel. Had the same friends since I was lil. Used to hoop pop in Jalil. Spooky bent the block, drop the tape. Talk to Walton, watch the fly away. Multiply my problems by the day. My side chillin' with a fake phone. Back it up, I can let the bass low. I'ma get it going like a metro. I'm gonna get a boomer like a metro. He's talking about uh, metro booming. Make metro booming makes beats. You might you might mistakenly think he's talking about the metro system, the transportation system. You know what I'm saying? But I guess the transportation system be booming too. You got the metro where wherever you live, you ride metro buses, metro trains, wherever you live, you're gonna be you gonna be getting it booming, making it to where you need to go easily. You know what I'm saying? Easily and affordable in many situations. Hey, yo, I just realized these guys are in the same formation as, um, is it the weed song? I think it's the, I think it's the, um, right there. That's how Bone Thugs and Harmony were standing in the weed song. I'm pretty sure it's the weed song, yo. I got to look for it now. Now I got to find it. Higher, higher, baby. Man, I don't know if it's the Wee song though, or it might be Buddha Lovers. I think it's Buddha Lovers. Friends would walk up to me and just be like, "What the f is in your mug?" And I would just tell them, "It's mud." Now, for people who for people who don't know, Crazy Bone, who is featuring on the song with Saba, is from Bone Thugs and Harmony. Bone Thugs and Harmony, 90s, early 2000s group who um, rapped about murder and weed. <laughs> That's pretty much about it. I don't think it was the weed song. I think it was Buddha Lovers. There you go. Boom. See, boom, landed right on there. So you know, it looks like a rend it looks like a rendition. You know what I'm saying? They they got the black background, and it's funny to me because 
the way I could tell is their face, their facial expressions look like they're singing like how these guys are singing. Look. But those, but the, but those guys, you know what I'm saying? Like that's Bone Thugs right there. They they actually are recording artists who sing. You know what I'm saying? These guys look like they just homies in the video. They don't look like they're recording artists at all outside of, you know, Saba, who's, whose song it is, you know. But I don't really know much about Saba. This this might be the only song I've heard from him, you know what I'm saying, first and only. But I'm not aware of these, these guys being any type of artist. So it looks like they just the homies who thought it was cool to make a rendition of the scene. So that was funny, man. That made me laugh, yo. Let's see. I'm about to finish the video. And look, they facial expressions, yo. Just look how serious they look, man. They look so serious. Look at them. Why that dude singing? What is he looking at? The guy in the back with the little face on his sweatshirt? What is he looking at, yo? Like, that joint was funny, man. And So you know that's crazy bone right there. I'm about to run it back. I'm about to try to catch every lyric he say. See if I can see what he's talking about. Look like his hat got like Chinese or something like some Mandarin characters on there. I don't know what his hat say. TL maybe that's maybe it's an English font or something like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what he's talking about, but he said he's shaking the fakers, haters, and everybody else, the snakes, and they gonna see him shine. So he's shining. He's shining on the video lit. He look young too, yo. I don't know how old Crazy Bone is, but I don't know. I don't know when this video was shot, but he look young. That was cool. So you know, Bone Thugs and Harmony was um crazy. Let's see. There was five of them. Crazy, Flesh, Busy, Wish, and Lazy Bone. All of them got all of them got bone at the end of their names. So But they were interested, man. I I, I used to listen to them when I was younger cuz you know what I'm saying? They was they was really like the only black group rappers who were singing and harmonizing on their songs. You know what I'm saying? And they just so happened to go hard. You know what I mean? Like they wasn't singing about soft stuff at all. You know, they were singing about drugs and murder. So 
Yeah, I don't know, man. For any uh, for any kids out there who have strict parents, you know what I'm saying? It might be best to not let your parents hear that you listen to them. But at the same time, the music today, I feel like, might be way worse. It's hard to tell, for real. It's hard to tell, but you can barely even hear what they say, man. Like, man, Bone Thug, they rap so fast that it's difficult to really even hear what they say unless you really, like, pay attention to it. But that's the thing I liked about Bone Thugs is that you can make out their words. They wasn't they wasn't purposely slurring their words to keep you from knowing what they saying. But sometimes you do have to go to the lyrics, you know what I mean? But once you read the lyrics, you can make it out easily. A lot of music that you hear today, you know, Future, Gunna, Young Thug, they'll slur the music, you know, mumble rap is is uh what it was termed when it was first coming out. Um you know, they would slur their words to the point where you can't make it out even if you read the lyrics. You know, and it almost seems like they do it on purpose. Like they want the they want the listener to apply it to whatever they want it to be instead of it actually being a solid statement. You know what I'm saying? So that there's there's that happens a lot, I feel like, in some of the earlier mumble rap when it, when it was first coming out. You know. They they would slur their words together so much that it wouldn't even be a sentence no more it would just be a tone you know what i'm saying with auto tune it just it just be like an instrument tone like a note you know what i'm saying and it's just like yo this don't even match the lyrics what are they saying you'll never know you'll never know then you ask them about it and they vague they can't even tell you so but now nah, but bone thugs and harmony man they had they had solid lyrics they had solid lyrics they were fast rappers they harmonized they sung they got good music man so for any uh, any young person out there who don't know you know what i'm saying go back play some uh play some buddha lovers play some weed song and uh look into bone thugs and harmony yo